This is a beautiful world. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is a beautiful world. When it comes to renewals, it's not a question of nice to have. The world of the 21st century need to have more renewables. We've seen here in Denmark, it is doable. We see it in Europe. That's Connie Hedegaard, former European Commissioner for Climate Action, talking about the world's increasing need for renewable energy sources. I think in order to scale things up, it would be so good to have some more input from artists, from creative thinking people who know how to landscape things in a better manner, who can show the attractive visions, who can show that to take climate change seriously, it's not about gloom and doom. It can be a positive vision. It can create beauty. It can create something that all of us would like to be a part of. While many new renewable energy technologies exist, and many people support them in theory, not everybody wants black glass solar panels on their roof or a big wind turbine in their backyard. Robert Ferry is an architect specializing in renewable energy technologies and knows about it firsthand. Well, we want to change that conversation. We want people to want renewable energy infrastructure next to where they live and work. We want to make it sexy. We want to make it something that people want to have and learn about the technologies at the same time that they're living with them and among them. Ferry began a competition back in 2010 to create sustainable energy art. That's artwork that can produce industrial scale clean energy. And the competition is called LOGI, the Land Art Generator Initiative. The Land Art Generator Initiative, or LOGI for short, is a global initiative to invite creatives around the world to imagine the beauty of our renewable energy landscapes of the future. LOGI is held in a new location every other year and has several other ongoing projects around the globe. But the goal is always to create public art that also generates power at a utility scale. Imagine a work of art or a sculpture that can also power your house. It's called solutions-based art, and Elizabeth Minoian, Robert's wife and co-founder of Loggy, says that artists, architects, and designers worldwide are excited about it. The submissions were really fantastic. We, it took our breath away to see that teams came together around this idea. So we asked for something, and they did it. It struck a chord. The designs that Loggy has developed are global, massive, and beautiful, like the structure called Light Sanctuary, set in a vast desert outside Dubai, where a long snaking sheet of orange solar film wraps back and forth across itself like huge ribbon candy. Only this candy isn't just sweet to look at. It also generates 450 megawatts of renewable energy. And also, take the pipe, which was presented at this year's competition in California. It's a huge glass and metal cigar-shaped structure that rolls gently in the waves off Santa Monica Pier, glinting elegantly in the sun and using only wind, wave, and solar power to collect, desalinate, and create fresh drinking water. Now, these are just a couple of the designs that Loggy has produced. Ferry says there is a beautiful world of more renewable energy art, out there waiting. A lot of the message about climate change is a bit doom and gloomy. You've got these warming heat map projections of the planet through the end of the century. You've got um, projections of, of water sea level rise um, engulfing coastal cities. And while those things are true and scientific fact, um, dwelling on that is sometimes has the effect of turning people off or, or, or having them sort of kind of resign to this terrible fate. This doesn't have to be doom and gloom. This is something we can all desire to have and it can make our world beautiful and we can actually turn the tide on this process together. I'm Heather McElhatton and this is a beautiful world.